Uh, well, Fitzwater, would you like to? We've got about five minutes if you want to say something. I know you got five minutes worth of stuff. In there. Representative Paul Fitzwater, I appreciate him coming today. And I just really uh, think we ought to give him about five minutes to give us the what for. Thank you, Paul. Hey, how are you? Good. Thank you. Yeah, I'm glad to be here. You know, I wasn't on the agenda, but you know, what's happening here is happening, and my, my lights are bright, by the way. What's happening here is happening in the middle of my district, and uh, like everyone else, I've been very vocal about it. Uh, appreciate the work of Senator Romine, Representative Black, just like Mr. Uh, Jim Skaggs. We've, you know, we've we set the tone that you know we're we're not satisfied with the status quo. Um, you know, I have a real problem. I guess I have a problem not only with DNR, but I have a problem with the conservation here in Missouri. You know, I obviously. Uh, um, and dissatisfied with the work that they're doing. I think that they need to, uh, we need some accountability, we need some transparency. Uh, I don't believe that they should be able to use our taxpayer money, go out and buy a private land, and then take away our privilege and rights to use it. I think we don't need that. I have a bill, and I think it's House Bill 2188. I don't hold me to that. If you want to know what it really is, you need to look up my name, and you can go to my sponsored bills. But, I have a bill that's going to hold them accountable, but if they're going to buy land in our county, then they need to let us know. They need to, I need to know if they're going to buy land near me. I don't care if it's a half an acre or a thousand acres. And I have a bill that's going to force them, and uh, it's went through the city. It's over in the city. So my bill is not in the Senate yet, but there's a Senate bill uh, like this one. Uh, but it's going to, they're going to have to put it in the paper. They're going to have to contact the local local office holders, they're going to have to have a public meeting in that county stating their purpose. And I think what they need to do that. You know, you can't outbid the government. You cannot outbid the government. Look what happened down in Camp so how they acquired that. Deceitfulness is the word. There's so much deceit in it. And I just think that we need to hold them accountable. Uh, obviously, we talk about the DNR and how you control them. You want to control government agencies, you control their purse strings. You control their money. Now obviously, it's a little bit tough with DNR, but conservation, they're out of control. They are out of control. We cannot control them. They don't make provisions. They don't make rules. Conservation, they're so powerful. They make laws. They do what they want to do. Uh, many of you know that they, they're going to shut down hog hunting on the conservation areas across the state. They shouldn't be allowed to do that, folks. They bought that with our money. We ought to be able to go in there and eradicate those hogs. And, and this is a big issue right now that, that's... That's, that's happening in, in our districts in this area. So we need to stand up to these people until the people wake up, wake up and put it back on the ballot to sunset that dedicated money that they have in the Constitution. <laughs> Nothing's going to change. I'm telling you right now, nothing is going to change. They're arrogant. I said on appropriations, I see state agencies come before our committees begging, please don't cut us, we're at the bare bone now. And the conservation walks around like, you know what, you can't touch us, we know that. And every time somebody makes a, an attempt to sunset that dedicated money that they have, then the people of Missouri, they go nuts. They give you these, these three, you ought to resign. We don't need you here, we got the best conservation in the country. I am proud of the job that they do. But there needs to be some accountability with the money that we are giving them. That's exactly what I'm saying here. So, again, I'm not a big fan. I, I, I appreciate we have wonderful state parks. I'm not going to go into the uh, Azarco thing. You've heard it. I'm opposed to it. You know, I don't think we need to be buying up more land to build yet another state park when we can't take care of the ones that we have. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. Again, I appreciate my five minutes. I think I've taken up. It's so good to see some old friends. Jerry and uh, the Kings are here. They were a big supporters of mine back uh, back in the day, and it was worth my trip down here today to see them and, and be a part of your, your program. Thank you very much.